Greetings and salutations, it's me James, your BA Sensei, back with another Power Query tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to transform column names. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to connect to this Excel workbook over there. You can see there's three sheets, it's March, January and December. And in each of these, we have some various portfolios at specific dates. There's a portfolio name. And you can see there's a lot of junk rows at the top. Each of these have different junk rows at the top. And then the stock names are the column names and then the number of stocks in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, write a function, and we're going to clean it up and combine it all in one table like this. And you'll see the stock names, it's gamma Okay, so we're going to introduce spaces where it transitions from one word to another from capital to lowercase. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to end up with a list like this. And then we're going to pivot it. And hopefully you'll learn some new power query functions while we're doing this. Let me show you how to do it. All right, all right. So the very first step is you open a new Excel spreadsheet like this, you go to data, and you say get data, and we're going to pull it from a file, you select the file net. And then this little pop up appears with all the various sheets and you can see there's the date. So I'm just going to choose January, any of those will do. And it opens up Power Query, remove the change type, remove the promoted headers and keep the navigation in there. You can see navigation, we just hard coded the sheet name in there. We're going to keep that hard coding there for now because we're going to create a function out of this. So you can see the very first problem, we need to get rid of these junk rows. So what I do with this is we add a new step, we call this table skip and we say skip each and the column is column one. And basically we are looking for the very first instance, the very first row where that the value portfolio date appears. So we're going to say where it's not equal to portfolio date. All right. So we're going to close that out. So what it's doing now, it's basically removing all the rows up until the time where up until the instance where it finds portfolio date. Pretty cool. And let's rename this to skipped. So what I want to do is because I want to transform these camel case and I want to insert a space between the lower and upper cases, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new step in here. And we're going to say table first n because I want to isolate the very first row of data and I'm going to say select the table name and it gives me the first row of data, which is the future column header. Let's just press F2 and rename this to headers. Okay, what I'm going to do now with this is I'm going to transpose this into rows, I'm going to say table transpose. And that would transpose that into a nice table with multiple rows. All right, we are now going to fix the casing by introducing a space between a transition, add a new step. Yes. And I'm going to use a great function called table transform columns. I love this function, table transform columns. And we're going to feed it our headers the input. And now we're going to say, what column do we want to um, transform? And I say column one and close that out. And I'm going to say comma. And for each in there, I'm just going to go, uh, go shift and enter. And I'm going to start a clustered let let and we're going to have it in there. But now we're going to declare a variable split. And in split, I'm going to say splitter use the splitter function by going split text by character transition. That's what we want to do with this value. All right. And I'm going to say in curly brackets, anything from lower a to lower z. Yes, close the bracket transitioning to capital A full stop full stop to z. Yes. So now I basically told it what transition to look out for. And then I say underscore, which will basically loop through each of the values in this column. And I just need to say split at the end here after the let and close that out over there, say enter. So now it, what it did is it created a list. And you see in this list, it basically created a list where where does the transition from lower to uppercase, you can see it created two words and this one that created four words with a transition from lowercase to uppercase. Pretty cool. So now all we need to do is let's add a comma there. We say combine and in there we we'll basically say text combine, combine anything and split. Yes. But if you combine those things, those items in the list, combine it with a space. And I'm simply going to say combine and in it over there, say enter. And there you go. You have now introduced the space where the camel case transition occurs. And let's rename this to press F2, rename this to fixed text. Text is fixed. Right. Lovely. Next step, let's enter a new step. So now let's say 
table transpose we're going to transpose this back into rows yes now we transpose it back into rows and i want to append it to let's say simply and and i want to append it to skip skip step you see what it did it basically now appends it but now we have that useless row um that row two is a duplicate of the previous camel case one this is the new space induced row that we want to use so we want to get rid of this one how do we do that we just say table skip and we don't give it something to skip we just say skip and there you go we have done it and now what we can do is we can say table promote headers and put this whole thing into brackets and there we go we have now done our thing next thing we want to do is i want to now unpivot so i'm just going to add a new step let's rename this to promote add a new step say table unpivot other columns give it the table i want to keep the in curly brackets i want to keep portfolio date and i want to keep portfolio name as rows but then the other columns i want to then have a column called stock with the stock column header in it and then i want another column with number of stocks which would be the actual values in there and let's close it out like this and there you go so let's quickly copy this function or let's quickly copy this query say duplicate all right we're going to we're going to convert this one into a function so what we do is we go to the advanced editor and simply at the top you say bracket you say input table give your input table a name as table and we're going to use a rocket ash and then we're just going to take this input table and replace all of this junk we're going to delete all of that junk and the first time we want to transform anything that goes in this function is over there so now we've created a function pretty cool there's the function let's rename this to column name function cool now we have our own custom function and in here we're going to take all of this steps out we're going to go way back to navigation all right so i'm just going to add a new column there's many ways you can do this but i'm just going to do it very quickly by saying add a new column and in this i'm just going to simply call column name function and i'm going to feed it everything from the data over there and i'm going to say okay so we added that new column over there and we can just say remove other columns and i can just expand this and there you go it's all done let's call this solution let's make this a date let's make that a whole number and we say bring it back to excel and there you go and now you can simply just pivot it and go that and insert pivot table we'll add it over there say okay we're going to pivot the portfolio name say the stock names and the number of stocks there we go isn't that cool well i hope you learned something new about some of these awesome functions in valkyrie and it gives you ideas for some of other solutions you can apply using these incredible functions well ba sensei signing out <laughs>